with Center Broadcasting Company. This is Justin Mon reporting. I'm here today with Mr. Cade Fainer. Uh, he's going to tell us a little about about his journey so far. Uh, starting off, what got you interested in music? Um, well, I, I had rodeoed my whole life, um, and you know, did the center play days and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I broke my leg uh, riding a horse, and so I was kind of thinking in my mind that you know, about sixth grade, I was like, well, I don't know if I want to do this my whole life. Uh, and so I asked for a guitar for Christmas and picked it up and then I was just kind of fell in love and that's kind of what sparked it all was falling in love with the guitar. And you've played for McClellan Church for many years now. Yeah, just pretty much right off the right off the bat, a couple of months into playing guitar, I asked if I could be a part of our worship group at McClellan Church, shout out. Um, uh, and I've been doing that ever since and I still do that. Um, so, uh, as far as uh, like community performances and stuff, I, I know you got started at the Poultry Festival. That's right. one of the main festivals, or yeah, the, actually my first like public rock and roll performance was at the Poultry Festival. Um, I played "Go Your Own Way" by Fleetwood Mac, and it was, um, you know, not the best thing in the world, but it was just a taste of like playing in front of those four or five people. Just sort of kind of uh, kind of made me, you know, have the feeling of like I want to do this rock and roll thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, what are some other places that you played? Um, played, uh, I had a band, you know, for a while, and we played all over Nacogdoches, and then um, we played at the Dallas International Guitar Fest Festival in 2014, and I won the Texas 10 out of 20, which is the best guitarist under 20 uh, in the state of Texas, and, uh, and that pushed us on into, we went to Mississippi and parts of Louisiana and all sorts of places. Now, I, I interviewed you back when you went on the other game show. Was that The Voice? That was, yes, The Voice in 2016. Yeah, yeah 2016. And now you're on American Idol. If you want to talk a, little bit, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, um, well, I saw a commercial or something that advertising that American Idol was coming back on ABC and um, just thought, you know, like, I mean, I grew up watching it. Why not try out for it, you know? Um, and I went to a producer audition in uh, August of last year and then uh, went went on through to the celebrity judges in front of Katie Perry, Lionel Richie, and Luke Bryan in New Orleans at Mardi Gras World. And how was that meeting them? Um, meeting like super, basically superstars, you know. Uh, it was it was weird. Didn't really feel all that real. Uh, you walk in and they have just this bright haze around them and stuff, and they just their smiles are just so pristine. Like it's just um, it's kind of shocking. But uh, it was. It was a unique experience like no other just to be able to sing in front of them and then they tell you, you know, you've got the style and you, Katy Perry said it looked like a rock star, which made my heart flutter and <laughs> all that, you know, and, um, you know, so just to, just to know that they think you're good enough, it's just, I don't know, it's something, nothing like it. And uh, are you going to, you're going back on the, the show again? Yes, I will be um, on the show uh, this Sunday. Uh, for the last round of Hollywood Week, which will be the solo round. All right. Well, congratulations to you. You're going to do great things. Thank you so much. With Center Broadcasting Company, this has been Justin Mott.